All right. Now, for the longest time, Denon would call up Fostex and be like, yo, dog, what's up? And Fostex would be like, what do you want, Denon? And be like, can you make us some headphones and we'll put our name on it? And be like, ah, oh, fine. And I don't know, they just decided not to do that anymore, but Denon headphones were Fostex rebranded. The D2000s, all those Denons from the day. And this series is the first Denon-made Denon headphones. And you don't see much about them anywhere. And you, you could always tell what a Fostex headphone was and why it was rebranded because, well, they all look exactly the same from the TH900 to the X100s to the Denon 2000s. They all were identical. Now, this is the 600 and this is the 7100. D600, D7100. Both have detachable wires. Both have the exact same shaped chassis. Both are no longer really in production. I mean, you could find them. I found them geeking around on Amazon. But, you know, basically free shipping imported. You're looking at $295.99 for this and $590 plus $10 shipping for this. So double the price to go from the 600 to the 7100 and you know one left in stock three new from 590 some use they're they're not out there they'd be here if they were anywhere they'd be here but they're not here so this is mildly a retro review now the guy who sent me these also sent me the th600s nap time so I was able to compare directly he also was very 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 specific be careful with this pair he was like eh, that one but be careful with the pads and everything and don't 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 touch them too hard and I know why because these are very very good closed headphones if you said TH600s or the one of these, it'd probably be one of these. If you said TH610s or one of these, ooh, God. Now, let's look at the build first. It, for some reason, that shape is just odd to me. It's very pretty. It's very seashell-like, like it crawled out from the prim primordial ooze and developed into a conch that goes in your head. And they're obviously both identical with the way that works. This, this this has a pivot in that thing. They both pivot. For some reason, the left side is looser on both of them. This one's very loose, actually. Like, oh shit, loose. But uh, they feel fragile. I feel like if I just wanted to squeeze and pull, these would just disintegrate. Which is why he was like, be very careful. The pole here is just metal, and that's that's fine. This is plastic. This is not impressive plastic. But, regardless of the not impressive plastic, these have some of the best feel and wire management I've ever, ever. Just ever. Just ever. The pads are... Spectacular. I mean, they're, they're specifically designed. They've got this 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 hard angle here, then like a forty-five, and then comes in a big fat swoop, and then thins out in the front. And they're so soft. And the ones on the six hundreds here are the same thing. Only they've got this white stitching, which makes them look even better. So I don't know if either. One, they're actually softer. So, there, there's no need to pull the pads off. I just kind of want to get a set. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hunt those down. Yeah, matching stitching up here. How are these the cheaper ones? These look so much better than like the fake brown... Actually, I, I say fake wood. Yeah, it's probably not wood. It doesn't have the weight for it. And then, let's just go the wires. 
<gasps> color coded. So you get color coded rings around your standard mono three and a half millimeter plugs. Thank you, Denon. And they and they just they they go and they go, click, click, and you could use other wires if you wanted to. These these are uh, the more expensive pair terminates in this quarter inch, right? Can we stare at this for a bit? Because the machining around here from this being spun on a metal lathe to give it a. Uh, Uh, texture. Th this is the best plug. You could talk about S Sennheiser 800 S's and 800's all you want. This is the best plug. I want to. I don't want to plug it in. I just want to hold it at things. But so that's that's got the full size quarter, and we'll get to the end of this one. And this one's running a three and a half that I'm sure has an adapter. In fact, it's probably one of those. It's not a screw on, it's just an adapter. So okay, it's a three and a half millimeter. So it's showing its dominance by being a quarter inch. Again, no sound quality difference from either one of these. It's just a longevity thing for plugging in and out and in and out and in and out. Nothing breaks because it's quarter inch. But as grand as this cable is, and it's you could you could see and look and feel and with the thickness and the and the and the material they built it out of that they definitely were coming from Daddy Fostex and everyone liked Daddy Fostex's wires so we need to make our wires like Daddy Fostex but they disconnect so automatically better and these bits here are a little bit thinner so automatically better and they have a stand I, I, I love them I love this cable I love that end however. The grand cable champion on Z reviews ever in the history of time is for the 600s. This cable has okay, it's only a three and a half. That's fine, but the actual fabric and the way it it flows is just. If I designed headphones, no cable other than this one would be approved. Better than every Fostex cable ever. It's got it's got a little bit of fraying here from being so soft. I mean, you can just see it. It's a thicker cable, and it's a softer weave. And it yeah, you, know, you hold it up, and that's the bend that does, and that's the bend that does. You can just see it's it's it wants to give way. I'm sorry if I'm if I'm on this little cable trip right now with you. Just like <sighs> best headphone cable. And keep in mind that here, here right now in the other room, are the HD 800s and the Hi Feynman HE 1000s, and their cables are both garbage compared to this. Oh God, it's just look at, look at the uh, it's a softness of it. All right, I'm getting back away from things. Let's talk about headphones and sound. I have all my amplifiers on. I have. The Arist, I've got the Aoun feeding the Arist, I've got the Dark Voice, I got the Panda Stack feeding the Dark Voice, which is feeding back to the Panda Stack because that's a hybrid now, as I love that little setup. And these sound different on every one of them. So when people say a headphone scales with what you're powering it with, that means if you got a cheap amp and a cheap DAC, it sounds cheap. If you got a better one, you get something clearer, a little more separation, more power. It, it gets better as you go, and both of these scale. And for a closed set, because I tried it with the 610s, the 610s didn't really give me anything extra when I threw it through the dark voice. These do. These give me extra. Let's talk about what these actually sound like. You put them on your head, and the low end, you think it's too much on this one, and then it's more refined on this one, but that's wrong, because I had to plug into two different amps, and you swap it, and it's like, well, then that's the opposite now. Now this one's got got perfectly refined low on it, so you gotta know what you're playing it with. That's why I like my dark voice, because it does quell bass a little bit. I don't mind warm, muddy bass if it's fun to listen to, and these are fun, these are not analytical cans. This is more analytical than this. But considering the price difference, what 
We'll move on. Soundstage. I was swapping between the Aorist and the Straight Aoun, and I had this pair on the Aorist and this pair on the Aoun, and I was like, wow, the cheaper set has much better soundstage. Swap the wires. Wow, the expensive set has much better soundstage. So they're, comp they're like sponges of amp. The original 800s, it was one of my complaints, was that they're like, sp was that like those, depending on what you plug them into, could sound completely different. And it's going to have to be a complaint for these as well. Because I can make these sound better than these, depending on which one of these I plug it into. And then if you swap them around, if you put, put this one in the bet, then these sound better. But that's the problem. Since they're identical in build, and they're identical in features, and they're nearly, it's nearly identical in sound, these have a more focused, closer sound than these. These, these feel like they're relaxed one. These, the highs don't crowd in there and try to shove detail. They have a little bit looser in the low end. It's, it's, it's it, it hums a little longer, but these reach lower and these are more detailed and these get up in your face. Now, soundstage is possible with them, with the right thing. The Aeris had good soundstage. Obviously the Tark Voice tube amp has good soundstage with a straight solid state. It's a little bit closer, a little more analytical. On both of them. This is a weird thing because now I'm, I'm reviewing like in a matrix where it's this times four and this times four. So there's eight things I'm having reviewing right now. When you put them on, the comfort is just like, ooh, I wish they didn't feel like they were going to break. They feel like th th this is just, it doesn't, it doesn't exude confidence in your, uh, your movement these actually are are they heavier not really it just this is cheap plastic and it's throwing me off and it's got this lip here and you can feel, you have to grab it by the lip and like i can feel it's a cheap lip and pull those cups out and mount them to something better and oh my god these are spectacular clothes headphones and if i had to choose right now i'd probably pick the lower end ones because they do automatically come a little bit wider the, than the 7100s and they do have a little bit sloppier low end and I I know you're like well, what do you, why would you want that and it's because very very controlled low end I found a song and I don't remember what it was and it's been 700 songs ago where I put these on and went whoa that bass that whoa whoa and then I put these on and that what happened and then there was an, an outlying low tone that remained and then went whoa so only these were delivering that, which means that they are, they're reaching lower. They are getting more of that frequency out there than these are. But the whoa wasn't as good as the whoa on this. And I know that's this is like, oh, the headphone review of the century right here. Oh, by the way, I forgot how to make that breathe. It's function home. I found the paperwork. But, oh, and you could swap the WSID and the arrow keys, just like the other one. Forget it. Minor, minor adjustment. Tube sound fixes a lot of issues that anyone could have with anything, but you gotta have something to compare it against. If you have just tubes, that's like just having heroin. You gotta have pot and heroin, and you gotta weigh the two options. Do you wanna do heroin today, or do you wanna just, you know, get a little high, a little high? A crocodile, where's that? That's not here, that was the, uh, that was the IDAC. I think it's crazy. I can. Now, you can't buy these. Not, not You can buy them new. Whatever's left on Amazon, throw them on eBay. You'll find them. Maybe even go to uh, AV Exchange. What are we comparing against? Because we're back to the thing. I'm, the end of the, I'm getting near the end of this review where I'm, I'm sort of done talking. And I'm just sort of like, cables and heroin and uh, focus, Zeos. Focus. Finish the review. It's hot in here. It's hot October out there. I don't like this cable as much as this one. This one's way better. You can't find these. So really, the, the, the end of this review, you're going to be like, but I want I want whatever you're talking about with this. For $300, if he said he'd sell me these, I'd probably buy them. But these are the ones he was like, be real careful and don't mess with the pads because they could get a slight rip in them. And oh my, actually, there is a slight rip in this right there. That's just the way. When leather is this soft, 
that's the risk you run. And it is spectacular leather. Spectacular feel. These are, these, yeah, this is a thicker, it's a thicker, this is much softer. Oh, God. So, very much approve of this. Anyone has any other of the new den online that is actually still for sale to send me? That'd be approved. The imaging is on on these. It's a little better because this is again a closer. Like the overall frequency response graphs, these have to be very similar. A little more wonky bass here, and then the treble comes up just a little bit harder on this because it's a little bit more focused. For double the price, I don't know if that's worth it. You get this one, you get the better wire, you get the softer pads. Just saying. Can't buy them anyway, it doesn't matter, this review is useless. Now I'm going to stop the camera, and I'm going to put these back on, and I'm going to plug them into the Dark Voice or the Hybrid Panda. The Dark Panda. This is now the Dark Panda. Gotta make a post about that. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Sound demo. I'm not sure if I'm doing two individual sound demos, or I'm taking one sound demo and doing six tracks and six tracks with each of these. That might save release things, because then I don't release three videos today. I could release just two. Yes. <laughs>